Glynis, taking the week off at work was the right idea. The fresh air has really put me in a better mood. So, we've already walked around the block five times. What should we do now? I was hoping you could tell me. I've never had this much free time. Well, um, we could go see a movie. Tequila and Benetti the motion picture? I've never heard of Tequila and Benetti the non-motion picture. Maybe it'll be something romantic. Or I could pop by the office, grab my liquor bottles, and we could have a lonely private investigator-style picnic. Two for Tequila and Benetti. White poodles, purple poodles, I hope this dream never ends. How about you wake up now, Tequila? You're supposed to be my partner. Oh yeah? If I'm your partner, why you keep interrupting my happy time with the lovely ladies of Westminster? Listen up, people, we got a full caseload today. Officers Garcia and Lee, 12 dead bodies were discovered in the crawl space underneath Dragon Sushi. Get on that. And officers Tequila and Benetti, Tequila has lost his burrito. I need you to find his missing lunch by the end of the day. I've already posted pictures of my precious burrito on all the milk cartons. Whoa, whoa, Captain Knight. I think we maybe have some better use on any of these cases. Look, visiting Detective Benetti, you're the best cops we have on the force, and part of what makes you the best is Tequila working on a full stomach. And emptying that stomach in B's Rose Cadillac. Get to it, Benetti. You know how picky tequila gets. Except when it comes to poodles. Have I mentioned orange poodles yet? Eh, fascia bro manager chuch. Hey, sorry you got stuck on burrito duty. Hold up, sister. It ain't time for the duty. You know, Captain Knight is just keeping us apart because of our undeniable sexual attraction. <sighs> If you want to solve this case quickly, just hire a private detective to do the work for you. That's what I did when the parking lot rapist escaped. I may not like the case, but I respect the job. I don't understand, detective. Why don't you just buy another burrito? That's a good point. Why don't I just get you another burrito? Man, B, you ain't never had a burrito this good. The onions, the salsa, the avocado. I'd trade an orgy of poodles for another bite of that seasoned beef. How about I take the dog over to Taco Bell? We can wrap this up in 10 minutes. You better hold me back, B. That sister comparing my prize burrito to Taco Bell is gonna make me turn her into my midday cat snack. I can't help you right now, detective. I'm actually taking the week off of work. My girlfriend and I are gonna go for a walk around the block. She keeps hinting at wanting to see a movie. We have a friend who runs a Mexican food stand around the corner. Perhaps he can help ya. Burritos? I've got all kinds of burritos, beef, chicken, codfish, and only half of them have I had sex with. Harry, you better leave that out of your sales pitch next time. Have you seen a burrito that looks like this? Oh yes, that looks like the burrito my fiance Cindy and I made love to on Valentine's Day. The meat causes a rumble in our stomachs that makes our bed vibrate without quarters. Get me out of here, B. I done lost my appetite. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Something smells funky. And it ain't whatever seed the Bigfoot has injected his tomatoes with. Follow me, B. Yo, Tequila, where you going? Tequila! Uh, hey, can I have extra sex with my nachos? Coming right up! I knew the nose was pointing me in the right direction. Borgavaca, gotta call this in. Good work, Tequila. This case just went from soft shell to hard shell. Go anywhere. Homeboy and I'll be back in your face after this. The body is the son of Governor Santoro. I gotta take you off the case, Panetti. You're too close. What do you mean? Of course we're close. We're the ones that found the body. There they go, dissing our credit again. I mean, you're too close to finishing the missing burrito case. I can't pull you off that now. Tequila is near getting the dinner he deserves. I deserve a medal for how long I've held out with no burritos. Sergeant Nuzo, find whoever killed the governor's son.
damn, B. You gotta stop playing that piano, man. You be thinking about shooting that kid every time. Wait a minute. Kid? Dead kid? Dead body? Dead cow? Cow meat? Cow meat inside a dead body? I knew there was something funky about this case. Tequila, wait, come back. I got one more piano solo in me. Hey, what are we doing in the morgue? Tequila, this is the last place you'd want to eat a burrito. We're looking for clues, B. Remember clues? That magic word, clues? I think he wants you to take that hacksaw and cut open the body of the governor's son. Oh, really? You speak dog now, Garcia? Look at me nodding, B. You know I'm right. You know my nose knows the clues. All right. I'll butt open his dead body, but only to prove that you and Tequila are insane. I can already taste that salsa more than I could taste that poodle who was eyeing me on the sidewalk. My god, Benetti, you did it! I'll be damned. Tequila's burrito. Tequila knew it was the governor's son who stole his burrito. Yeah, but should he really be eating a burrito we cut out of a dead body? <laughs> Too late for that, B. That burrito tastes just as good going into someone, coming out of someone, and then going directly into my tummy. Keshkivo. And there's more to it, Visiting Detective Benetti. Captain Knight. Not only did the governor's son have a tendency to rip off jewelry stores by swallowing the merchandise, but he also thought he was so above the law that he could bypass police canines by stealing their lunch and forcing them off the job due to lack of Mexican food. Call Dr. Frankenstein. I want to bring this sucker back to life so I can kill him again. Swallowing jewelry. Why that means... You got your burrito stolen too, B? I was gonna give this to you when you finally said yes to dinner, Garcia. Benetti, I... We've been kidding each other for far too long. We're more than just partners, friends, or co-workers with extreme sexual tension. We're familia. You, me, Tequila, the three of us are nothing without each other. I could take or leave both of you. So, would you do me the honor of becoming the next Mrs. Nico Benetti? Benetti. Who am I to pass up the happiest ending we've ever seen? Tell that to Governor Santoro. We ain't never gonna find out who killed his kid. And I'll write a screenplay about all of this! Just remember, at the wedding we gotta serve my Mamma Mia's bucatini with marinara and ricotta. A feast fit for a king. Better start booking the reception hall now, B, cause I'm planning on being the Mastiff of Ceremonies. Why... why was I in that movie? What is my existence? I thought it was cute. And then the two of them argue over the various plot holes and leaps of logic in the movie. The end. While I do have several questions, I'm curious as to why you're coming to me with this. I can't copyright your script. But you're a key supporting character in my story. The script has to be Lloyd approved. No one is gonna buy a script. It's only ten minutes long, and the references seem extremely obscure. Then I should bid you good day. I knew I should have written the role as McGruff. Can you believe this guy? Last year he hires me to find out if his girlfriend is a serial killer, and then he thinks he can add me to his movie scripts. So... Can they understand the dog? Does the dog think other people can understand him? Why did the movie version need a commercial bumper? Who knows? Will we be back to regular cases next week? Absolutely.